My name is Danica. I'm a contributing editor at bookriot.com and today I want to talk about my 2000 book TBR list. So as someone who's been obsessed with books from a young age, I'm sure I always had some sort of TBR list. Ten years ago I started to compile it into an official Word doc and in 2011 after my laptop died and I lost it, I migrated what I could remember into a Google Doc. Since then I have had two Google Docs, one with the books I want to read that are available at my local library and one with the books I want to read that are available through interlibrary alone. Over the years I have continued to add to these alphabetical color-coded lists. I haven't seemed to have taken a lot of books off that list though. So I thought I'd give you a tour of these lists. This is my library list so these are the ones that are available through my local library or they were at some point when I added them. Some of them have since been weeded I'm sure because it has been years. So starting off we've got a couple of books that I wanted to read while I was running the children's department at the bookstore and they are books on how to recommend books. And then we have a list that I put together in my undergrad of books I wanted to read at the university bookstore and that was about five years ago. Never read any of those. Um, some DVDs that I'm interested in watching at some point and comics that at some point I was partway through the series but I haven't read those in years. And then we get into just the giant bulk of this list, which is random books that I want to read by the last name of the author. The ones that are highlighted in blue are my lesbian literary criticism, and some of these I am no longer interested in. Some of them I don't remember why I even added them in the first place. I do have quite a few that I'm still meaning to read at some point, but it's not really a list that you can browse through, as you can tell, because it is hundreds and hundreds of books long. So we've got books that are about fairy tales and books that are sci-fi, non-fiction, lots of things that I was interested in at some point but probably wouldn't read now. Harry Potter literary criticism, which I was reading for a while, books on tattoos, some of them I just have no idea why I added. And you've got the same idea in my interlibrary loan list, but I'll take you to the bottom and see that it is hundreds and hundreds of books. And then the interlibrary loans one is even longer. I've gone through and deleted a few since I started recording this. It's still definitely in the 2000 books range. There always seems to be books that need to be read right now, so I never seem to get the chance to peruse those lists. Now my library list has 874 titles on it and my interlibrary loan list has 900. Add to that my list of books that I want to read that aren't available through the library system and my physical TBR and not even counting my Goodreads want to read list and I end up with quite a bit over 2,000 titles. That is obviously an absurd number. I tend to read about 100 books a year, which means theoretically I could read through that list in 20 years, but only if I never find another book that I am interested in. Browsing through those lists, some of them I no longer recognize at all, some of them I am no longer interested in. I do delete those when I find them, but I haven't done like a formal cull of those lists. My plan has always been to plug those numbers into a random number generator and read whatever comes up, but in the 10 years that I have been keeping this list, I think I've only done that a couple of times. As the years go by, I've started to recognize how many books that I've forgotten on this list, so I leave myself little notes for why I'm adding it to the list and why I think it's interesting. So one title promises to be a claustrophobic dystopia, another one says in all caps, DEEP SEA LESBIAN, MINOR CHARACTER. There are sedimentary layers to this list. I can see my teenage desire to read all of the classics. Scattered throughout is my later interest in anarchism, in feminist fairy tales. There's a long period of time where I genuinely thought I could read every lesbian book I've ever published. There's books about books, of course, and kids books bestsellers from when I ran the children's department. It gives me a kind of glimpse into my mind at different points in my life, and it can remind 
remind me of interests that I had kind of forgotten about but that I still think are worth reading about. When I did my year of reading only authors of color, I went through those lists and highlighted all of the books by people of color. Lesbian literary criticism is highlighted in blue for my Lesbian Literature 101 project. So I have found those lists useful at different points, but I think the main appeal for those lists to me is this kind of reckless optimism that they represent. By keeping those lists, I am acting as if I'm going to read every title on them, which is impossible. It's not going to happen. But it's also a comforting thought to operate from this premise that I will get around to these books eventually. It's also a way for me to let go of book guilt. If I put it on the list, then I don't have to worry about remembering it, and I don't have to worry about it being one of the books that I should be reading. I get to think, yeah, it's on my list. I'm going to read it eventually. I know a lot of people get stressed out by their TBRs. I have about a hundred books on my physical TBR, and I've had many of those books for five, ten years, and I haven't read them. But it doesn't matter to me. They make me happy to have. It makes me happy to think that one day I will read these books. And so many of them have memories attached of when I got them, or why I want to read them, why I'm excited about them. And when I look at them, it makes me happy. I don't feel guilty. I'm not doing anything wrong by having a TBR list or a TBR pile. So I'll be keeping my 2000 title book list and I will probably just keep adding to it. These days I tend to set Google Calendar reminders for books that are coming out that I want to read. So I'll set a reminder to put a hold on the library once they order it in. So right now I'm reading a lot of ARCs and new releases and looking through these lists makes me think that maybe I need to relax on keeping up with the new releases and dive into the backlist a little bit and look into the books that I have forgotten about but that are still worthwhile and are still interesting to me. Maybe revisit some of those passions that I used to be so devoted to that I have kind of moved away from and see if they're still relevant to me. But either way, I am happy to have that backlist of books that I want to read. To me, it would be really stressful to only have 10 books that I want to read. I would feel like I was going to run out. I am grateful for my TBR abundance. I'm grateful that I'm not going to run out of books that I want to read. There's always going to be more. There's always going to be more than I can possibly read and that is an amazing feeling. So let me know in the comments if you have your own overflowing TBR, whether it's physical or just an ongoing list, and how does that make you feel? Is that a good thing or a bad thing? And thank you for watching.